Hello members of the Justine Dream Team. Woo, it's been a little while since I've posted, huh? Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> That's really not like me, but there were so many factors that went into me not being able to post. One of which being that Holly was off and I wasn't able to make any videos with her or show her anything. Because if you do not know from my Instagram, Holly was recently badly attacked by another horse, so she just cosmetically did not look the best. <laughs> Poor thing was very beaten up and so she just needed to take some time to heal. But now she's all good and we're getting back into the swing of things, which also includes YouTube. So again, I'm so sorry that I left. But during a horse's time off, it always feels like there's nothing you can do with them, especially depending on why they're off of work. It's typically just sad. So in order to still spend some quality time with you and your little horsey pal, I put together a list of some things to do while your horse is out of work. So without further ado, let's get into it, finally! <laughs> First off, just doing some basic groundwork is always good, but now you have a little extra time to do a lot of more basic groundwork. <laughs> and this is also very beneficial because not only are you working, but you're also teaching your horse a lot of stuff that you might not have time for whenever you just are in your regular riding schedule. The next thing, kind of adding on to that, is clicker training or any kind of like positive reinforcement training. I just really got into clicker training a few months ago, but Holly and I have been enjoying it a lot. It's a great way to teach your horse in a very natural horsemanship-like way. I definitely recommend y'all looking into it and researching it a bit. It's quite fascinating. And at the end of the day, it's always so rewarding to feel like you just did things such a natural way with your horse's best interest at mind. Now the next thing is having a good old photo shoot with your horse. I mean, who doesn't love a good photo shoot? It could be nice and elegant and beautiful, professional photography, or it could be like the Justine version of a photo shoot. You know, whichever one floats your boat. And next, it's always nice to have a good cuddle and spend some quality time with your horse. It is a very good way to just have a relaxing time, very stress-free, unless your horse is crazy. Another thing that could also be very relaxing or quite stressful to some people is braiding. Yeah, some people are really good at it and enjoy it a lot. You can either get some good practice in or it might end up like how I do it which is when you see something that looks really easy online and you think, yeah, I got this. And then it just kind of ends up in a big knot. Yeah, it's definitely a skill. Adding on to that, your horse will always enjoy a good spa day. Unless they hate water and you give them a bath, they probably wouldn't find that very relaxing. <laughs> but they end up really shiny and clean until they roll in their pasture. So, you know, if you want to do a spa day, you can, but it might not always go that well. And then lastly, depending on why your horse is off and what you can do with it, if you're just not able to really ride it, but you can still walk them around with you on their back, it's always nice to have a good little bareback ride. Unless your horse is really bony, then it might not be that enjoyable. Man, these things really do have a negative side to them, don't they? Okay, well, I tried my best on this list, guys. Hopefully one of these works for you. Anyways, back to the bareback ride. You know, the first step to a bareback ride is getting up on your horse. And if you're on a tall horse, that doesn't always happen. But hopefully you have a little something to boost you up there. Because if not, it's in that moment you really wish you had a pony. So with that, that is my list of things you can do with a horse while they're out of work. That is a mouthful. I really hope y'all enjoyed. I am very glad to be back. Hopefully we can get rolling again. But with that being said, thank you for watching. Join me next time. Go out there and dream, believe, achieve. Bye. Goodbye. Major label, that's the crow. Nobody does it like Red Dog. Snap in my zone and it's Take the hell. Hanging out of your mouth, Holly. Oh, that's not...